Hi everyone. So we had a request in the Adalo forum where one of our users wants to use Send in Blue for in order to send emails. So there was a couple of tutorials already on how to use SendGrid. Another one that I made how to use Elastic Email. But in this specific case, we want to this email provider, which is uh, Send in Blue. Um, so. In order for us to do this, uh, once you have a Send in Blue account, and we are here on our um, main account, so one one of the first things we need to do is get your uh, API key. So in some cases, you will see your uh, URL will be similar to this one. In that case, you can come here into Settings, and then here you come to the HTTP API get your API key and then as you can see we are in another uh, link now URL and appears here where you can then create the key so then you just can create create a new key and the new key will be uh, created then if you want to do transactional uh, emails for this case uh, you can ignore this part here because this is specific for uh, campaigns um, so if you go here, it will not give you much information. Uh, well, we have a couple of settings here. Maybe we can go actually through here, settings, and then we go through uh, configuration. And then we go here into the documentation. And we are going here into email, API, create and send transactional emails. So now when we are here, as you can see, send a transactional email. We can go a little bit here down until we see I wanted a specific one, one second, until we see this one here. So this is the one where you can set it up in a simple way to send uh, emails. Then uh, th the next thing I do is uh, we're gonna so we have first then of all it's a curl we have here it's indicating it's a post request here is the URL that we are going to need and then as you can see here we have three headers one to accept and this is the application JSON the other one the API key and the other one the content type uh, one of the first things I like to do when uh, passing the the JSON to a dollar so in this case this is the data that will be in the body of um, a dollar is let me just put this here I like to go into this to json uh, lint.com it's a way for you to validate the json and make sure also you already can prepare it before copying it, it into it also you come here now I'm going to click validate as you can see it put it a little bit more neat and tidy and then here I'm going to put a download courses at gmail.com as my sender because here I already verified that domain in order to to send the emails so in order if I'm here I have already uh, so if I come here to to uh, my account and to the senders and IPs I can see here that I already have a sender verified so this will allow that send in blue will be able to send emails in behalf of this email. So that's pretty simple. You just come here, add a new sender from name, from email. And then when you do send, you'll receive an email in this box to validate uh, this domain. And then you are ready to go. Then once we are done with this uh, step here and validate it. So now I added already here the sender emails, then two, you can send to whatever you want. I'm just going to put in this case no code tribe.io for uh, the testing purpose. The reply to you can also add whatever you feel like it. If not, you can uh, remove it. So here we go. This is a transactional email. This is a send in blue transactional email. And then if here also just for the test, send in blue email. And the tags you can leave it or not for now we're just not going to use it then we can use it later on i'm going to validate json again it's valid so we have already this part prepared to to the next steps then in the next steps we go to a dollar 
we create then uh, a, a form where you want to uh, send the email. So in this case, I just have a simple form, contact support, create new contact support. So I'm going to go here into the submit button, as you most of you already know, and I already have here the elastic email from a previous tutorial. But now I'd also like to send one via send in blue. So I'm going to add another action, custom action, and here below, new custom action. Then here I'm going to say it's a send in blue email. We're going to have a create. And then here, if as you remember, if we are here in the instructions, we have here then it's a post request and we have here the URL that we own. So we're going to grab this part here, copy. It's a post request. So first I'm going to put here the URL. Then I'm going to select a post. Then if you remember here, we have one, two, three headers. So I'm going to add already here one header. Uh, and this one was accept. So I'm going to show you again. So then we have accept here. So I know it's accept, so I'm just going to copy this part here. Copy. I'm going to add here accept. And then below on the value, we're going to put application JSON. Then here we know the next one is the API key. As we can see here, API key. So I'm going to just put a random one for now, and then I'll generate the key. And then I'm going to add still another header, which is this one, content type application in JSON. So I know it's this one, copy. And I'm going to put here content type application JSON done. And now here we are going to add that body that we validated here. So in this case, what do we want? So if we already have the sender validated and it will always be this one. So you have one option. Uh, you can leave it in the body here when you add. So first let me copy this into there. Copy body here. Okay, so the sender you can leave it because it's the verified domain, but you also can add it here if you want. And then on the email, in this case, I'm going to remove it. And here I'm going to add a email. Oops, sorry for that. To email, I'm going to add this one here. So this is how we add the inputs dynamically via the, the form. And done. Uh, then we can add it here via the magic text. See, as you can see, already appears here. Done. And then the reply to, if we would like, for example, any specific email, we can put the reply to. If it's always the same, again, you don't need to do this. You could just add it directly here. So reply to, for example, support at nocodetribe.io. And then we can come here and we can add again via the magic text, reply to. And then in the text context, we can add, for example, here, content, for example, I, I am, for now, just a random message, I am the content of this email, done. And then here we are going to do the same. We are going to replace by the content, content. And we can do the same for the subject, subject. I am the subject. And here we'll do the same, replace. So this is all because we want to do it dynamically and we want to use the form for this. And the tags, we can leave it just for now. Okay, now we are just missing the key. So let me go here. So I would go here, get your API key, do it uh, live example, I'm gonna create the key, name your key. So send in blue, send in blue, uh, dollar. 
generate. It's going to give me the key. I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to go... Don't forget to store it somewhere if, if you want to use it in different applications because once you click this OK, you will not be able to see it again. But it's fine. You can always generate other keys. So we're going to do done. So now everything should be OK. Just double checking. Uh, email support, OK. Reply to support, OK. Content, OK. Subject, OK. All right. So now let's see if it works. Oh, so here, header of, of OK. API key is here. And the content type is also here. OK, right. Now let's do a run test request. OK, so it validated message ID. OK, show for response. OK, the same. OK, so it seems that it's all OK. Now let's just check if I did get the message in my inbox. OK, it seems I have received the message. I'm going to show you here on my inbox, as you can see. A dollar courses, uh, dollar courses at gmail.com via, as you can see, sender, send in blue, uh, support, so basically the the email, and I am the content of this email, the subject, and that's it. As you can see, if now we also do a reply to, it's already here added with the support no code tribe. So once you have submitted Save the Action, uh, as you can see, it's going to show here on the left the new action, the send in blue email, and the four uh, dynamic fields that we set, the to email, reply to, the content, the subject. And as you can see, I added into the form, but uh, I could add it again. So I could just now come here into the custom action. As you can see, it already shows here. So now action. And then here, as we can see, we can add the to email, can be the, the new content support of the form. So the email, the reply to, could be any email that you want to put again. So in this case, I would put my own support, for example, and the content, it would be the content of the form again, and the new contact, the message. And then finally, in the subject, it would go here back into the form, and it would be the subject. And simple as that. So when now every time you're running the form and there's a user of your app that's sending this form, then send in blue is going to send this email uh, in behalf of the email that you have designed as the to email. Um, and that's it. This ends this part of how to uh, send emails with send in blue via Adalo using Adalo forms. So once again, thanks a lot.